middle week, second week of October reading. So let's shuffle the cards. All right, we have the King of Wands, the Death in Reverse, and the Lovers in Reverse. Okay, in the beginning of the week, we would have the King of Wands here. King of Wands is all about uh, adventures uh, and being a leader and, um, and, and it also represents, the king himself also represents a fatherly figure. Um, let's just, let's see what this uh, card is actually representing here by reading the middle of the week here. See what the king is uh, bringing you. So you, you have then the death card here in, in reverse. And this is showing that that you're holding on to a lot of you're holding on to some a lot of past feelings. Um, you're resisting change. You're resisting change. You're holding on to a lot of past feelings, um, and you you have a fear that whatever you are um, holding on to in the past, it, it's it's ending. Of course, being in the past, it, it did end, so uh, the death card is coming around and uh, telling you, um, you know, don't, don't, you know, it's past, it's gone, you know, don't, um, don't bring yourself down by, you know, don't bring yourself down, you know, uh, you want to start fresh, you want to start anew. I want to start anew here, um, and so this is prob This could be why the king has shown up in the beginning of the week to remind you that um, you know to, to be adventurous. Um, there's some warm advice. Warm. Someone's got some warm advice for you in the middle of the week, and the death card is just uh, coming in with with uh, showing you that you're still having some fears about holding on to the past. But it, it wants you to remember, you know, remember what the king, what someone came to you, forward to you in the beginning of the week with the advice. You know, remember this advice. Um, remember the advice. And then you have the love, oops, this goes this way. Then you have the lovers as well. And, and the lovers in reverse is, um, is all about when it's in reverse, about difficult uh, relationships. Uh, could be some separation going on. Um, you know, you may have made some bad choices. Um, and then, of course, you know, you have the death in reverse here, which is, you know, we're, we're resisting the change. But, um, now don't, don't resist don't resist the change of a separation or of a falling out of some sort. Don't don't resist it. Um, again, because you know you you have a, a wonderful friend in the beginning, uh, a leadership in the beginning here. This could you know I don't know. Is this is this uh, spelling out a divorce? Uh, Perhaps maybe this is an attorney, a fatherly, warm figure with power, uh, coming through and and giving you wonderful, giving you advice and, and telling you not to resist the change. Uh, don't hold on to the past. Um, you know, it was a difficult relationship, but don't make it harder on yourself. You know, just just take the loving, warm, and powerful leadership of this of this person here in the beginning of the week, and take their advice. Um, you know, don't live in the past. So that is your reading, and you have a great day. And we'll see you again. Bye.